Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Draw with Rob with me Rob Biddulph. Now I am a children's author and illustrator. I live in London in England. You might have seen some of my books before. Have you seen this one? This is actually my newest picture book. It's called Dog Gone. All about a pug called Teddy who loses his human. Maybe you've seen this one. It's called Show and Tell. This one, most most of my books actually feature animal characters, but this one has got lots of humans in, but also a little alien. It's about a group of school children who bring in crazy things for Show and Tell one day. It's a really fun one. Maybe you've seen my Dinosaur Juniors series. Um, it's lots, There's I think there's three books, um, and each book um, is about one of these little baby dinosaur characters. We have baby Tyrannosauruses and Spinosauruses and Stegosauruses, all sorts of things, and they have all sorts of adventures in their little world. And this one here, Happy Hatch Day, is all about their very first day in the world. So it's a lot of fun, but we are here today to draw a picture together, aren't we? And this is a very special bonus episode of Draw With Rob. And it's one of our farming specials. I thought it would be really fun to do a few videos um, that concentrate on various aspects of farming. Now I'm not going to lie, the main reason that I wanted to do that is so I could draw a tractor. When I was a little boy I had lots of toy tractors that I used to play with and I really really love them and even now if I'm driving along out in the country somewhere and I see a tractor in front of me I really love seeing the tractors bouncing along on the road or on the fields they're really cool I'd, one day I'd love to have a go in a tractor and drive one but I'm not sure I'm ever going to be allowed <laughs> so I thought today we would draw a tractor now tractors I don't think whenever I think of a tractor it might I don't I'm not sure if they and initially when you look at them I sort of think oh they haven't really changed much since when I was a little boy you know when you look at when you look at cars from a long time ago they look really different to cars nowadays but sometimes I think tractors don't look that different and then I started doing a bit of research for this little draw along and wow some of them look really different some of them have got sort of triangular shaped wheels. I don't really know how they work. They're sort of a bit like tanks and things <laughs> like that, or like really weird, look, really sort of futuristic shapes. So they are, they are certainly changing, but some of them look very similar. Now I'm gonna draw a fairly traditional tractor today with you guys. So I hope that's all right. Now tractors, do you know what farmers use them for? They're used for loads and loads of things, um, but mainly to pull stuff. On muddy fields you know they have to go across sort of uneven and muddy ground so they they pull wagons which is full of farming equipment or sometimes they pull plows that's that's a, one of their main uses so they pull plows which kind of turn the earth over in the fields or level the fields so they're used for that or um, they have these very clever machines called planters that actually plant lots and lots of seeds in the soil at the same time and they're all pulled by tractors so they're a hugely important piece of equipment to farmers today and they've even got computers in them now they're super super clever tractors these days and farmers use computers and images from space and stuff to see how their fields are getting on but we're going to talk a little bit more about that later on i think we should get on with the drawing because i've talked enough don't you right this is how it works just in case you've never done one of these videos with me before you're just going to need a piece of paper a pen or a pencil something to draw with maybe something to color with in a minute or two and this is how it works. Lots of people tell me they don't think they're very good at drawing. I say everyone can draw. Some people just need a little bit more help with the drawing, which is where I come in. Now what I do, I break the drawing down into little bite-sized pieces. So I draw one of those little bite-sized pieces on my piece of paper here. Then you can pause the video and you copy what I draw. Start me up again, I'll draw a bit more. Then you draw. I draw, you draw. I draw, you draw. I draw, you draw. And at the end, we're going to put all of those little bite-sized pieces together and we're going to end up with a lovely drawing of a tractor. Right, shall we start? Grab my pen. Okay, here we go. We're going to start with a circle. So I want you to draw quite a big circle on your piece of paper. Um, I'm going to say about 10 centimetres in diameter. About that sort of size. Now circles are not very easy to draw. Okay. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Mine's not a perfect circle, it's a bit egg-shaped. Don't worry about it if your circle's not perfect. I actually really like it 
when circles aren't perfect. It adds so much character to the, to the drawings. If it was just like a perfect circle, it might as well have been drawn by a computer or something, mightn't it? I think it's much more characterful for a drawing to have a circle which isn't quite perfect. So please, if you're not happy with your circle at the beginning, don't screw it up and start again. Just keep on going. It does not have to be perfect, okay? So there we go. You can see I've drawn it slightly towards the left-hand side of our page. That's because I'm going to draw another one here on the right. But this one is going to be level at the bottom, as level as you can get it. Um, but it's going to be a lot smaller, this one. It's going to be about sort of, I don't know, half the size maybe. Like that. Can you can see, look, my circle, not at all perfect. A bit pointy down there, but I like it. It adds character to our drawing. Okay, so one big, one small circle. And you will not be surprised to hear that they are the wheels. Right, a few more circles now. This drawing starts off with quite a lot of circles. Inside the middle of this one, I want you to draw a circle about that size. So what's that? About three centimeters in diameter, right in the center, like that. Then inside that one, just inside that one, we're going to do yet another circle, like that. And then in the middle, we're going to do yet another circle. And then guess what? A tiny one right in the middle, like that. Lots of circles. If that wasn't enough, let's add lots of little tiny circles going in a circle around that circle. Wow, how many times can a person say circle in the same sentence? <laughs> that is a lot of circles. Right, we're going to do the same over here now. So in the middle here, we're going to draw a sort of medium sized circle. Then just inside that, a smaller one, like that. Then quite a bit smaller, that one then a tiny one, and then remember, a tiny circle of tiny circles. <laughs> there we go. So these obviously, these are the wheels of our tractor. Now then, this is a tricky bit. We're gonna add some grip to our tractor, because remember I said tractors, they have to grip in the mud, don't they? And so we need to add some tire tread to our tires. So this is how we do it. We're gonna go around the edge in a sort of step formation like that sort of going in and out and we're going to follow our circle all the way around shall i go into speed mode so you don't have to watch me do this here we go three two one so there we go i've added our tire grips to both wheels the big one and the small one now then did you know that these tires, so they're made of rubber tires these days, aren't they? You know that. All tires these days are made of kind of rubber, like you'd see on a, you know, a bicycle or in a car. But before that, do you know what they were made of? The wheels on a tractor. Steel. <laughs> Metal. Can you imagine how bumpy it was driving around on a muddy, bumpy field on a tractor whose wheels are made out of steel? Pretty bumpy. A bit of a, you'd probably get a bit seasick, I would imagine. You'd be bumping up and down so much. And I imagine very hard to steer too for the farmer. So rubber tires make things much, much easier, don't they? Right. Okay, the next thing to do is we need to give our um, tractor wheels some mud guards. So these big sort of mud guards that would protect the rest of the cabin from the mud that the wheels churn up. Because obviously tractors drive around in mud all the time. So this is how we do it. So about two thirds of the way up the wheel, so that's the full height, so about two thirds of the way, maybe level with the top of this little circle, I want you to draw a horizontal line that just sticks out about a centimetre or so from the left hand edge of your wheel. Then what I want you to do is another sort of circle here, we're going to just follow our wheel all the way around the top, like that, in a sort of arc shape. And we are going to go right, we're going to go much lower, I know we are two thirds of the way up, but we're going to go right down to probably about here and then we're going to go horizontal we're going to join up again so it's just a little protection for the cabin from that wheel we're going to do the same here but this time we're going to go level with that we're going to come out from the, the other wheel and then we're going to follow that all the way around until we get to if you imagine that's a clock face till we get to about one o'clock so just sort of past the top bit and then we're going to draw a straight line that joins it up there <coughs> Excuse me, so two little mud guards. Okay, now we can start the main body of our tractor. So the first thing we're going to do is 
About here, we're going to draw a horizontal line, again, about a centimetre long. Then we're going to go straight up to about there, I would say. Then we're going to come straight across. We're drawing a sort of rectangle shape until we get level with the back of that smaller circle in the wheel. And then we're going to come straight down. So we're drawing basically a sort of a square shape behind that. Now what we need to do, we're going to draw another vertical line next to that till we get there. Then we're going to come out horizontally. Then we're going to go up diagonally. Then we're going to come all the way back along the top. We're going to go past that a little way, like that, that centimetre past. Vertically down, diagonally down. Then we're going to come vertically down past where we started and join up again. So there we go. And this area is going to be the cabin, so where the driver sits in our tractor. So why don't we add two more vertical lines here? just to split that up into two little windows, one front and one back. And we're gonna add a top part of the cabin. So this is how we're gonna do that. We're gonna do a diagonal line coming up from there. We're just gonna curve around slightly, go straight along. Then we're gonna to go to, we're level with that vertical line, curve back around and join up again. Okay? Right. Now on top of here, what, what I want you to draw is just a little rectangle, about that big like a sort of brick sized rectangle there. And we're just gonna join that up two little diagonal lines. And then on top of that, we're just gonna put a little rectangle there and a smaller one there, like that. And I will talk a bit about that slightly later on, okay? Okay, let's draw the rest of our tractor's body now. First of all, we need to draw a horizontal line between those two to close that space off. And then from about just below halfway, no, maybe about halfway actually, I want you to draw a line that comes out pretty much horizontally to about there. Then we're just going to curve round and we're going to join up with the top of that mud guard, like that. Then let's add a couple of horizontal lines here, almost for a bit of kind of decoration, like that. And then at the front, we're just going to add a thin rectangle, just like that. And there we go, guys. That's pretty much the outline of our tractor. What do you think? Easy, isn't it? Pretty easy. But there's lots going on, so there's lots to work with here. So now I think we're going to go away and we're going to colour in our tractor, OK? So tractors can be any colour, any pattern you like. This area here, these two areas here are glass usually, so that the, the driver of the tractor, the farmer, can see out, okay? So we need to keep um, this area pretty clear, but you could color it in black or gray or whatever you want, or sort of blue, anything you want. But these areas here are the body of the tractor. Can be, they can be anything you like. You can do it rainbow stripes, stars, hearts, any kind of pattern you like. The brighter the better, that's what I say. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, I might stick to my favourite colour is red. Maybe I'll do my tractor nice and red. And then these here, the wheels here, they're usually black, aren't they? The tyre areas anyway, and then you can do a colour in the middle section here. I'll tell you what, it's easier if I go away and do some colouring, then you can see what I do and you can decide whether you want to do similar to me or slightly different. So I'm going to go away, colour mine in in super speed mode as usual, and I'll be back in about 30 seconds, okay? Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> There we go. There is my finished tractor. I told you I've gone for red. That's my favorite color. Um, you can see I've added all these sort of lines that go around the tires that sort of make it the tires look a bit more tire-like, you see. So I've added a bit of texture in there. I've also added lots of little details to bits and pieces of the tractor here, little rectangles with dots around it, just to make it look a bit more kind of machine-like. And it's really fun to do that. You can just sort of make it up. That's what I did. Um, and you can see I've added this little, you remember the little white box on top of the tractor? I mentioned it earlier. What that is, is like a little um, beacon receiving information from a satellite 
way up in space. Because you see, most tractors these days, they have a GPS system. So that's a global positioning system, which means um, using the satellite, you can track exactly where the tractor is on the field and you can tell the tractor where to go. So you can help it drive straight in a dead straight line on the field if you're plowing the field. Um, so it's a bit like, you know, when you use Google Maps in your on your phone or in the car, on your sat-nav system in the car, you can see exactly where you are. It's exactly the same with, with tractors. Um, and this little white box is the beacon, so that's where it receives the information from the satellite. Um, and it also is really helpful. So in, inside the tractors these days, the farmers, they often have screens which show a picture of their fields from space. So they can easily see which areas of the field need more water or uh, which parts of the field the crops are growing really, really well or which parts are looking a bit sick. So by using this beacon here and the screens in their cabin, they can see exactly where they should go on the field to tend to the crops in the most efficient way. And it really helps them grow the most, the, the maximum amount of crops possible. So that's really, really super useful. And I've even drawn a picture of a satellite. Would you like to see my picture of a satellite that I've drawn? Actually, there's two satellites. There they are two satellites I know I've given them eyes I can't help it I keep I always give little eyes to things <laughs> give them, make turn them into little characters it's what I do I'm an illustrator I'm sorry I can't help it but you know what if you want to learn how to draw one of these little satellite characters if you just go to www.goodineverygrain.ca forward slash draw hyphen with hyphen Rob there's the address there go there, I've made a little step-by-step -step draw along instruction sheet to show you how to draw that satellite. And there's also lots of other information about the things that we've talked about today. So you can ask your parent or your teacher to, to download lots of really fun, cool activity pack stuff there um, if you really have enjoyed this video. So head over, head over there, www.goodineverygrain.ca forward slash draw with Rob and you can find all that stuff. Right. I can't wait to see your drawings. I'm, I'm anticipating lots of lovely, colorful tractors. Um, I hope you've had fun drawing this with me. I've really enjoyed this one. It's a really good one. I love drawing things like this. It's super fun. Um, I'm gonna be back very soon uh, with another Draw With Rob video. But in the meantime, I want you all to take care of yourselves and keep on drawing. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.